My name's Maya. Hi, I'm Mo. We're eco facilitators, and today we're going to show you two ways to make no sew masks. This is an affordable, eco friendly, and essential part of your college toolkit for fall semester. Wearing a homemade mask properly will significantly reduce your chance of infection, which will allow you to focus on your time at Wesleyan. So let's get started. First, let's start off with the folded bandana mask. You need a bandana and two hairbands or two rubber bands. First, fold top half of bandana into the middle and fold bottom half of bandana into the middle. Then, Fold top half of bandana into the middle again. Then fold the bottom half of bandana into the middle again. Put the hairband through each end. At this point, the middle part of bandana should be the width of your face. Then fold each end into the middle. Then put it on your face. On to design number two. So if you don't have a bandana or you have an old cotton t-shirt lying around, you might want to consider this design. So you will need one cotton t-shirt, some tape, scissors, pipe cleaner, and two rubber bands. We, you could use uh, hair ties as well, whatever works best for you. So you're first going to lay the cotton shirt on a flat surface and cut horizontally from armpit to armpit. So you're just left with the body of the shirt. So once you've done that, you're going to cut along the sides of the shirt. So instead of being this loop of fabric, it'll be more of a single sheet. So I would also recommend cutting the hem, that bottom portion of the shirt where the stitching is, because it may become difficult to fold later on. Now that we have that nice piece of square fabric, we're gonna fold the bottom half towards the middle and then pull down the top half towards that middle point as well, making sure it's nice and flat. And we're gonna flip it over and do the same on the other side. So we're gonna pull the bottom towards the middle point, making sure there's a nice crease. And before we pull that top half down, we're going to tape a pipe cleaner to the inside of the fold. So this feature will really allow you to mold the mask to your face and probably make you feel a little bit more secure since the pipe cleaner will kind of adjust to the shape of your nose and your cheekbones. So now we're gonna put a little tape on both ends of the pipe cleaner and pull that top half down to the middle point per usual. So now we're gonna put the rubber bands on either end of the folded fabric. Like Mao said, the middle portion of this design will be what's actually covering your face. So maybe just give it a try, make sure it lines up properly. Now we're gonna fold the excess piece of fabric into the middle uh, and press it down a little bit to make sure it stays in place. All right, so now you have your mask. So you're gonna put it on your face, use the rubber bands on the ends as the ear loops, and make sure it's fitting properly. We're going to find the pipe cleaner that's at the top of that mask, and you're going to push it down so it molds to the shape of your face and your nose, uh, and voila, you have a mask and you're ready to start your fall semester. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really hope that helped you out a little bit. And also please know that the eco facilitators are here for you in this difficult transition to fall semester. So never hesitate to reach out 
and more information about our program can be found on the Wesleyan Sustainability website.